Battery registration, or battery coding as it's sometimes called, is a part of many newer vehicle battery replacement procedures today. And my friend Chad Schnitz has come by to show us just how to do it. And that's coming right up. I'm Chad from Alltel Diagnostics. In today's modern vehicles, we're putting more and more strain on the batteries and the charging system in those vehicles. On newer vehicles, we are now worried about having to maintain the battery charging system throughout the process. That algorithm in a vehicle is called a battery management system. This has been big on European cars for many years, but now even U.S. domestic cars are using a battery management system. So today we're going to go through what the battery management system is, how it works, and the solution for you in the field. A battery management system is the charging algorithm that the vehicle uses to maintain a charge on a battery. As a battery ages, it also degrades over time. As that degradation happens, the vehicle will automatically charge the battery at a higher amperage to be able to maintain that state of charge. We see this in many European vehicles that a battery will last 8 to 10 years, not only because of the location of the battery, but also because of this battery adaptation in the battery management system. The reason we need to reset the battery management system in a vehicle is so the vehicle knows when a battery has been replaced. If we do not do the battery management system reset, it will actually overcharge the battery over time and shorten the life of a battery. Using the Autel MD808 Pro, we're going to go through the process of how to reset the battery management system. So in this car, we've replaced the battery with a brand new version. We're going to select service. We're going to go down to battery management system. We're working on a Volkswagen, so we're going to go into Europe and Volkswagen. We're going to do battery regulation, which is number two. You can see that this car from the factory came with a 60 amp hour battery, who the manufacturer was and what the serial number was from the factory. We have to update these or reset these whenever we replace a battery. So the battery that we have replaced it with comes from Johnson Controls and this is also a 60 amp hour battery. We're going to go down, select settings, and select the new manufacturer. And then we need to do the battery serial number. Select edit and enter the numbers on the new battery serial number. And then click finish. Finish again, and the battery has been adapted to the vehicle. Now that we have the serial number for the new battery entered into the system, the car now knows that a battery has been replaced, what the amp hours of the battery are, and that it can start its new charging cycle. This will not only maintain the life of the battery, but also give it its best performance over time. Using the Autel tool, you can see the process is pretty simple but it's very vital when you're replacing a battery, so make sure you put this as part of your battery replacement process. You'll be so happy you did. Mm -hmm.